What you thinking, Diesel? What's up, everyone? Look at that sun. First solo launch today. Went pretty smoothly. I'm gonna shout everyone out that always launches solo. Props to you, because it is a little bit tricky. I didn't get it on footage because it was my first time. I didn't want to embarrass myself, but hey, I made it. So today, as you know, we're out at Pyramid Lake. We're gonna go hook them in the face, see if we can't get any monsters on board. It's just me and Diesel today. So we're gonna do our best to try to film, fish, and just give you all the content. Today, we're just gonna be using all downriggerless setups. So if you haven't checked out that video on how to set it up, I'll put the link in the description. But until then, we're gonna head on up to Warrior Point and see what the bite is like up over there. It was a little bit windy this morning, so I took a little bit of relaxation time and drink some coffee until the wind kind of died down because I didn't want the boat banging up against the dock because boats being banged up on the dock is not a fun time. So stay tuned and we'll see you up at Warrior. Swimming towards the boat. Always got to keep on the reel if they're swimming towards the boat. Doesn't feel like a very big one. But who knows. It is super rough today. Not bad. Don't want to horse it in. Just wanting to fight it. side pressure on them. I'd be screwed if it was a big fish. Oh, got it. Whew. Pretty good size fish. Should I get that hook out real quick? Oh, shit. See what it measures out to. Full length 20, 23 and a half. Look at that. Beauty. Gone. Whew. Snooze and diesel. He's a little cold. What's up, everyone? Whew. It's chilly today, making me work for it. That's the second fish I've actually got in the net. I did lose one right at the net, but first one on film. The wind wasn't supposed to be ripping at all today. Just look at it. It's pretty windy. Uh, that just goes to show you, out here at Pyramid Lake, no matter what the weather says it's gonna be, always expect it to be worse, I guess. And always be careful if it is windy like this try not to venture across the lake because it does get rough the wind likes to swirl out here and you just never know what's going to happen what i've done with all my lures is i've changed out the hooks in regards to just a one single barbless hook instead of a treble hook at the end i think it helps up the hookup ratio and it's a lot safer for the fish because you don't have those three hooks kind of getting tangled up everywhere in the eyes the gills whatever the case may be but in my personal opinion I think the hook set is a lot better as well as just more effective um, when that fish is thrashing around I don't think it's gonna have the potential of getting hooked up on another hook on the treble and potentially ripping it out because they are barbless hooks um, other than that I'll show you a little bit later on but we're gonna keep fishing it is windy it's about I don't know, almost 10, 10 30 right now. 
and it is cold and I'll do my best to keep it open and stay tuned and I'll give you a little insight on those single barbless hooks. Catch you later. Got another one on. little fish. See if I can't net this one a little bit better. Got it. Woo. Number three. Let's get it out of the net real quick. The way I'm fishing today is I do not have a sling blade on. Uh, I think with that extra leader length after the sling blade, it'll make it real difficult for me to net these fish. So that's why I'm just running a single flatfish with a one ounce weight. It's trolling about 13 feet down. Uh, the only reason why I know that is because I went over a 13 foot ledge and I got snagged up. So it's running about 13 to 15 feet down with a one ounce weight, as well as maybe three to four feet a liter. Not much liter past the weight. And I'm ranging anywhere between 75 feet of water to 30 feet of water. And I'm getting these fish all over the place. Got another one on. Let's see what happens. Whew. I think this is gonna be fish number four. Man, the wind is just non-stop today. It's ruthless. But I got the fish swimming towards the boat. It's in neutral, so we're kind of drifting towards it as well. Ah, come on. Yeah, got it. Let's get that hook out. That's what I'm running, single barbless hook, the trusty flatfish. Another decent looking fish. Nice. Ooh -wee. Gotta stop the boat. All right, fish number five, everyone. Ooh. about almost 11 o'clock morning was super slow maybe I made the right decision on sleeping in that last fish I caught for being such a dink it fought really well this one feels about the same got it Ooh. man it's tough to net it by yourself Watch this thing just pop right out. Done. That's it. Let it have a little drink. All these fish have been around 20 to 23 inches. Look at that. Whew. Got it done. Jeez, that's what you've been doing all day, is just sleeping. He's pretty good at sleeping. Let me give you a quick update, all right? So, I've got about six or seven fish in the boat. But let me show you what I meant about those single barbless hooks that I've been swapping out on all my lures. 
that is what I'm using, just a standard J hook or a bait holder hook. We bought these at Cabela's and you can see what they look like on the actual lure. Just one single hook. That's all. The hookup is a lot better, keeps the fish a lot safer and it's really easy to get out of the fish. Another fish on. Ooh, this one feels pretty decent. Ooh, this one's pretty good size. Whoa. Oh, shit. Got him. Woo. Oh. Jesus. First male of the day. Got him in the boat before he even knew he was hooked. Good. This is a good fish. Look at that. Look at that fish. Woo -wee. Nice, pretty male. Woo. They're getting ready for the spawn, that's for sure. Here, way you go, buddy. Woo. Got another one on. Swimming towards the boat. Gotta keep it. Took a massive hit, but I don't know. Feels like it got off. Oh nope, still there. Ah, oh, come on. Got it. Whew. Nice female. Whew. Away you go. Whew. Got one on. Whew. Man, it's been kind of, actually, it's been real slow. All the fish I've caught were in a, probably like an hour and a half of each other. It's been like three hours since I've actually had a fish on. Whew. I went up by Pelican Point which is where I'm camped this weekend. Oh, God. Dang. Nothing like it was this morning. Well, that about wraps up day one of this weekend warrior trip. Did pretty well. I mean, it got pretty slow there for a while. I think all the fish I caught were within an hour and a half of each other. So I think the bite just turned on and then turned right back off. But sometimes that happens out at Pyramid Lake. But we'll get it done tomorrow, hopefully. Might venture to the other side depending on what it looks like in the morning for about four hours or so get off the water at noon and then take the girlfriend for a little ride so we'll see what happens diesel got his z's in that's for dang sure but we'll see if we can't catch another fish in the next 10 15 minutes or so but until next time we'll see you tomorrow and always remember to hook them in the face and fish barbless we'll catch you later